What's up guys and of course welcome to our division final in of course LBA season 6 and we are facing of course the Pori Blazigans or Grail who are an opponent that we actually did lose in the, in um, our week 8 I believe and it was actually a pretty close game uh, he did show himself to be a much more defensive player which actually was good because that made it a bit easier for me to prep for this game and I'm bringing like all of it like I am not holding back now I was a bit surprised not to see Crobat on his team outside of that you know he brings pretty much what I was expecting uh, which is Magnuson, which is pretty much the mod I can't really defeat uh, pretty scared of that being scarfed uh, Alakazam very very threatening with this sash because well I can't do it I can't want to kill it that's an issue Medisham always gonna be an issue bullet punch does roughly 80% to God of War so that that's an extremely annoying thing Shansi just wow hate you so much it's so hard to deal with it really is uh, Latios not too shabby uh, God of War is there to wall it basically so I'm feeling a bit safe there at the same time you know it's a rough mon to be dealing with then we got the power down shit like that's the only mon Stoutland can do with KO so that's an issue but the team I am bringing is a scoff God of War um, Actually, Timmy this time to be able to outspeed uh, like I said, but not fully speed a lot of bulk on it too. To be able to withstand, of course, the likes of Bullet Punch from Medisham. Because that's a thing and it's something I don't want to be able to deal with. Uh, Keldeo, Scarfed variant 2, Modest, being able to out actually outspeed like Alakazam 2. Yes, two Scarfers. It's even worse than that, to be honest. As of that, it's a standard set. It does a lot of damage to his team and um, can poke Chansey if it needs to. Uh, Tyrannosaur, uh, Relaxed, bit bulky, enough attack to actually pursue trap kill Latios. Uh, has actually its crunch too, in case I need to do a judgment call. And other than that, I got Stone Edge and Ice Beam. And Ice Beam is there for repowered on. It does roughly 40% if it's a max defense variant, which is very likely to be. And I'm not gonna rely on Sand for Southland, but Stan, Sand is there. Thunderous, um, Timid, Max, of course, to be able to speed Latios. Latios. And uh, we have Thunder Thunderbolt, Grass Knot, and Knockoff. So I can't really hurt um, his uh, Magnuson that well with this Thunders, but I have Substitute with Leftovers. Basically, there to, if we want to switch out, at least I have some kind of wiggle room. And of course, Rose Raid, third Scarfer, that's right. Um, nothing big to it. Uh, Leaf Storm, uh, Sludge Bomb, and we got Extra Sensory and Shadow Ball. Just to hurt everything as much as possible. Uh, only Mon being able to deal with this properly is, of course, Shansi, but that goes for pretty much all of it, really. And there was Stoutland, and Stoutland is your ba standard bandland. Uh, enough speed to outspeed a uh, timid Magnus Zone. That's pretty much all I needed to do with this one. And outside of that, I'm going actually to lead with my Guard War, seeing that it's very likely to lead with the Powder. I'm gonna go for Rocks, and I can get some nice damage right on from the start. So, with all that said, Let's do this. So, Alright, from the get-go, of course, I have the situation here, which I wanted. I actually wanted to go for Moonblast. I wanted to hurt him badly. I knew the, the chance for rocks was something he couldn't really deny. So we get the 50% hit, obviously. The special attack, yeah, not mattering. And we do trace, of course, the likes of his uh, sand... Uh, what do you call it? Sand Force. So anyway, leftovers might push him over 50%, but he's not saved by the Moonblast. Seeing that it's very likely for him to bring a Magnus on here, I'm actually gonna bring Fold. Um, Southland is probably my only bet here because the only mons coming in on this is either Shansi or Magnuson. And um, yeah, I mean, that's the right call to make. So obviously, he's bringing Sigrid, which is his Magnuson. I am very surprised he stayed into this because this superpower does destroy him. And uh, I was so sure he was gonna be Scarfed here, but he's most likely Specs variant. And like I said there, I have enough speed to make sure I would speed that in that kind of environment if it is timid. So he's gonna go to Buster here, and there is really nothing to do. Like, I don't have any proper switch in here. Um, I really thought Thunderous can take a high jump kick, or I was rather hoping first for fake out and substitute on a high jump kick, hoping eventually that he will miss. Uh, or, you know, obviously I'm naturally out of speed. So, yeah, that was the main process. I'm gonna see if it goes for high jump kick. I'll say, alright, resisted hit, awesome. <sighs> Not so much, like this still kills me. Yeah, that's bad. I did not foresee that, and that's a massive hit on me. But like I said, there we have enough bolt to take, and we stand, of course, the likes of a bullet punch. 
And, and I'm basically gonna go for Moonblast. Like, I know Shansi will come in, but this time, I am out of option. I need this thing dead. If he's risky enough to stay in, I'm gonna get it. So it goes to Shansi. I was really hoping when for a bullet punch, I could actually take him out. That was the main idea. Uh, so anyway, Shansi comes in. As you guys can see, that's a nope. And I'm gonna bring Rose Raid here. Since I have Natural Cure and not Ignition, I can take away any status move here. And I'm gonna see, of course, it has Toxic. That's all right. Uh, I'm gonna decide to say and go for Sludge Pump just to scout whether or not he has Thunder Wave 2 if he has ways of deal with me. But if it goes for Seismic Toss, that's good. That means that his is out of option and uh, I basically can... I don't have to worry, like my Stoutland has Facade, so um, I don't really have to worry about it. So I go to Selfius thinking that this is an easy way for me of actually forcing it out and uh, seeing that it easily would bring Elario to this kind of environment. So uh, with that said, what I'm gonna do is pull a double here, go to Tranator. Like I said, I have Pursuit and Crunch, and I, like I said, I really, really was sure it was gonna bring Eladios. And what do you know, this is an environment he's not feeling particularly fond of, which I do understand, and he will switch out, of course, to his Eladios. So, you know, I'm getting the double switches, I do the right calls here, and um, at this point I was thinking, you know, he's gonna see me going for Pursuit. There is no way he would play this thing differently, so I'm just gonna go for Crunch. Like, if I go for Pursuit, I'm in a worse kind of options environment, I can't really deal with the Dracos, but it shows me Surf and that's way worse because that is easily 50% on me, but like I said, I went for Crunch, and the reason I did that was because like I said, Grail is a good player, that means he will definitely see the Pursuit coming, which means I need to play a bit risky, which means Crunch, and we have like I said enough attack there to so make sure that we KO it, that there's no risk in behind it, but here it comes to situation number 2. He still got the Medisham. I can't switch in God of War. I just I can't because the situation where, of course, high jump kick and bullet punch is enough to kill me. I can't risk that. I'm not feeling it. That's a good call. Felt a bit weird there. I had didn't have protect. Protect would have been so nice there. But anyway, my best course of action here is Stoutland. Like Fulf just gonna come in, rip things apart because that is exactly what it does. And. Um, he stays in, sacks it, I get it. I, I really do. And he's gonna go back to his Largo, and I'm just gonna keep going for returns. Uh, I was kinda hoping that he would fall somewhere in between and go for real quick, actually taking use of, of course, the sand. Um, the sand, his sand force power ish. <laughs> but no, he goes to Slack Ops, that's alright. Uh, if anything, I'll probably do the same thing here. And of course, the sandstorm will subside. And, well. Earthquake is gonna come. Like I don't have any mana take that you know, particularly well, but I do have Kelio, and Kelio can. Well, it doesn't really take a whole lot of damage to it. It can't force it out, and we want to force out. Uh, so it goes for another slack off. Maybe overdoing it, but at the same time, we would no didn't go for slack off. He would have been in the two kill area. So can I get it? So anyway, I just go for a safe scald, uh, which has a 90% chance of killing it. So, fucked RNG, but we do get the burn somehow, so you know, that, that's kind of cool. Uh, he goes very quick, where it was, of course, will be massively reduced now. Uh, so, it might have been close of, you know, 50% hit, but at the same time, probably wouldn't have matter a whole lot. And his Largo here will, of course, fall to the burn. But like I said, 90%, actually, didn't go for another Skull, or how about that? Anyway, 90% chance, you know, and you actually screw that up, like, that's just beyond me. Uh, but, you know, shit like to happen. Uh, we do take out the Hippodrome at least, so he goes to his Alakazam. I was feeling it, alright, alright, I see you, I see you. Probably gonna go for a side shock. Elissa should be able to take that really well. And I'm feeling so frustrated here that I don't have Synchronize. Had I had Synchronize, this battle might have been a, a bit shorter. He goes for Thunder Wave. Dear Lord, that was frustrating. But you know, at the same time, you know, what can I do, right? So, he'll switch out, that's actually quite alright. Uh, he only has actually his Chansey and Alakazam left, I need to actually be able to deal with them properly. I do have 4 months left on my team. I go for Moonblast, obviously it's not gonna hurt. So I'm gonna switch out, hoping for Toxic Care to use the facade in my favor. The thing is here, he can't risk anything. And the simple, since it did switch out with his um, Alakazam, shows me that he's probably Sash not life orb, which means I can't live a hit. So, uh, yeah, I just go for a turn here. 
I was really hoping, like I said, he would went for a risky toxic. He didn't do that. As you guys can see, Return does just burn. I, I am no scared of a Chansey. Chansey got nothing on me. He got nothing on Fulf. And that's out of the way. Like, Chansey got nothing here. And his last one is, of course, the Marvelous Alakazam. But with my three Scarfers left, the speed tier that Alakazam is representing is not a threat to me. But Grail does not know that. He does not know that yet. So at this point, you think he got the game. You think he got this in the bag. And, you know, in a perfect world, yes, I would probably not have been really three Scarfers because let's just face it as it is. It's insane. It's stupid. It's kind of weird. But it paid off. I finally got in this situation where it actually paid off. Obviously though, my Gardevoir is of course paralyzed, but I was thinking I'm gonna give Alyssa a shot because Alyssa can survive a Side Shock or a Shadow Ball if he packs it. But um, we're not on fully paralyzed is up for debate. So uh, like I said, I know I can live the Shadow Ball. It doesn't, or at worst it actually puts me at 1 HP. And, uh, you know, what do you know, like, he, he puts me there, he puts me at the 1 HP area, but Alyssa is not feeling it, and she is easily the MVP of this game, and will wrap things up with, of course, the Moonblast, and that is a victory in the Scandinavian style, Lynn's favor. Oh, wow, you know, you know, obviously, you know, we, we defended the title, like, that's kind of cool, because, like I said, going into playoff, I knew... I wasn't a favorite, you know, I had to have a rough season, there were a lot of things that wasn't working, and uh, we still make it, like, oh, it's so big, it's so goddamn big, but, <laughs> in all honesty though, like, I need to, of course, credit Grail in every fashion here, because I had a major perk going into this match, I had faced Grail before this playoff. I knew that he was a defensive player, that was my mistake in our first game and um, I had the chance to redeem myself this time while he has to fend up against an opponent that he haven't seen you know, the full potential of the aggression that he can force himself to. And that was exactly what I did because with a matchup like this, Grail's matchup against me was vastly superior. Um, he, sure he has a few hiccups with his team. But the matchup was definitely up there. Like I knew going in, or going up against Grail that I was gonna fall apart if he called me on any of my over predictions, and th that is exactly what's going on. Like when he loses Magnus Zone, that that I said to my fiance while I was playing the game, like that that's that's big, that's way big because Magnus Zone ripped me apart, and not being forced to worry about that was big very big indeed and um, this was pretty much anybody's match like like I said had Grail made any of those predictions right I would have been pushed so hard back that I would never never have come out on top and I am fully aware of that uh, Grail is a extremely good player while this match does mean that we obviously win our division like that's really cool and we have the LBA finals next week and um, but I will be honest and say that he won our first match. You know, we're evened out. And I think this battle shows that too. Grail is an extremely good player and I think the team looks the part. And the only reason I win is because I was playing a risky game. I needed to do it. I knew what kind of power I was facing. And Grail is an extremely good battler. So, you know, we win, I do believe, 2-0, which is, you know, that's okay. And it's a very short game, of course, just because of that aggression in mind and having three scarfers it's um, it's an it's a nightmare it's actually kind of hard to play with three scarfers because you are you are shut down easily and you ah i don't like it i really don't like it but um that was the game i had to play and i think it worked it did pay off and um i'm glad with the results i will say to grail you know if you had you won this game, I would have not have minded that one bit. I made it way longer than I was supposed to. And it looks like you know, I can grab the title now, which is... Uh, wow, why? <laughs> but I'm glad. I'm glad somehow too, because I really wanted to try to redeem myself against an opponent like you. Because you are so goddamn wally. Like, you definitely had that, you know, lockdown... lockdown theming going and it's so hard to face off an opponent like that 
and um, I had one of my better days yesterday, obviously. And um, you know, sometimes luck is a factor. Uh, I really can't say much more than that. Um, I, I'm. I won the division. Like <laughs> hell, you know what do I even say? Uh, I did not expect that. I did not expect that. Um, so I really can't say much more. You know, like I said, Grail has a good team here, and uh, had he have, had I been have a worse say, and he had a better day, you know, this, this game would have turned out much differently. I'm sure. Uh, I, I cannot top this time, and I think luck had a had a few had a few things to do with it. And um, we're gonna give a shot for a title, I guess. But uh, at this time. I'm just enjoying that, you know, I'm not as lousy as I thought I'd been. I, I really, really thought I'd been quite lousy. As uh, so seeing that the playoff matches, you know, that we show ourselves not being that bad. It's, it's, it's nice. I needed that. Um, so yeah, with all that said, guys, I want to thank you so much for supporting me throughout this LBA season. And we only have one more game left. And that game is more a prestige game than, uh, you know, the real deal, if you ask me. And uh, yeah. You know, I'll, I'll see what I can do. So, uh, with all that said, I want to thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed this match. It was a very short one. I'm, I'm sorry for that. I needed to make this game short. I couldn't withstand this matchup. I just, I couldn't. Uh, so, like I said, I want to thank everyone for watching. I want to thank Grail for this incredible game. Good job, buddy. And uh, I'll see you in the LBA Finals next time. How cool is that? <laughs> so, anyway, guys, long outro. But I just had so much things on my mind. Uh, I want to thank everyone watching. I think I said it three times now. <laughs> take care, everyone. I'll see you next video. Until then, take care. Bye.